Welcome back to Brazen Brits. And if you're new here, then welcome. I'm Lawrence. I'm Natalie. And we are currently in Ohio, and this is our first trip after the 2021 National Grand Designs RV Rally. Yes. Yeah. And we are here because we had no expectations of the rally. We had no idea what it was about. Well, a very vague idea. We were not prepared at all. So we want to give you a really quick overview on what happens. Uh, what to expect. What to expect. What not to expect. What not to expect. <laughs> and hopefully make the decision on whether you would like to go or not. It really makes me wonder. Before we get into actually what happens at the rally and things you probably want to know about, uh, let's do some things beforehand. So the first thing is book immediately. Like this is uh, the this year for 2021, the tickets went on sale about three months beforehand and they sold out in 12 minutes. Natalie was sat there at one o'clock. It's one o'clock on a Tuesday. Natalie was sat there on the laptop, refreshing, refresh, refresh, refreshing, refresh. refreshing. As yeah. soon as they came up, she bought it. She knew exactly where we wanted to go. I had nothing to do with this. This was all thanks to Natalie and she got the tickets. And actually it's thanks to Robin and Michelle from Our Life Whirlwind for pushing yep. us into doing this and telling us what we needed to do. So that's the first thing. Second thing is once you are there, you get to choose three service things that you can have done on your rig. Now we thought this was warranty only, so we didn't bother because ours is out of warranty. Then we thought, well, it's probably stuff you can pay for. Mm, didn't really want to pay for anything. We have some issues, but we just put up with them. I'm not going to pay for it. Uh, not the case. And we'll talk about that a bit later. So once you get that three service things, fill those out. Make sure you choose wisely. Three. On opening day, make sure you turn up early. We turned up at 8.30, it didn't open till nine, and there were still five rigs ahead of us. And by the time nine o'clock came along, there was a ton of rig behind us. Once nine o'clock hits, pretty much you're all escorted to your sites with the little goobers, as they'll explain in a moment. Um, but if you're late, if you turn up after 5 p.m. and all the volunteers are gone, then you will be directed to like an overflow site where you'll have to spend the night before you get let in again the next morning. So once you get there, they escort you to the site in a goober. Again, explain that in a minute. Uh, just a golf cart carries you around. They get make sure you get set up. They were very, very nice. They're all volunteers, um, all Grand Design employees, but there mm. are a lot of volunteers and they are amazingly helpful. Um, so they will escort you there. Once you've set up, at any point you can go down to registration, but we went down pretty much straight away. Yep. There was a bit of a line there, but it's fine. It's amazingly organized. For something that they don't do very often, this is crazy organized. You got a really cool swag bag with loads of stuff in. Actually, yep. we have a clip of that. I'll we play do. that now. Okay, we just signed in for the rally. Gonna go through all of our stuff that we got quick. We got a badge. We got uh, tickets for the factory tour, which we're doing on Wednesday. Then we have tickets uh, for the food truck. Don't know what that is. Thanks, Opie. <laughs> we got an umbrella, that's cool. And then, Shopping board. That's nice. That is nice. Wow. Nice touch ground design. Well done. Yeah. Uh, we have the information pack. Fun stuff. Loads of stuff in there. Lots of special advertising. Oh. Fancy uh, notepad. Okay. Oh. Camping mugs. Uh. Grand Design Coffee? <laughs> okay. Genius. comes up with this stuff? A uh, mask. Mm. Oops. Uh, we got a uh, RV streaker. Oh, black streak remover. Nice. Uh, we need that. Uh, chocolate. Thank you. Fine. <laughs> uh, another mask. Uh, a fancy pen. And two red things. I assume they're like ponchos or something? I have no idea. Oh, and another pen. Cool. Thank you, Grand Design. And a bag. And a big bag. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. And then whilst you're in there collecting all your swag, you get a ticket for your free factory tour, which we had ours on the Wednesday. Um, and there was a coach there to pick everyone up. And then, well, there's different coaches and you got all the different uh, 
line you, you can choose which line you want to be whether the reflection the momentum yes. the solitude the transcend you can choose which uh, tour you want to do and they do one a day i think yes. uh, for each one and they have the coaches turn up at the site because it's a 20 minute drive and then you just jump on your coach and you go do the tour and so we did the reflection one and it was pretty awesome we, we got to see our exact rig our exact, well the <laughs> new version of our rig which even natalie which who is cheaper than anyone I know was like we should get a new one just for the oven. exactly the same layout I like the oven the oven was better the water heater was better <laughs> there was tons of stuff it was but very cool yeah they've made a few upgrades on it since our one obviously one of the main points of coming to the Grand Designs rally is to come to the many many seminars that they hold so Lawrence went to one this morning about solar and lithium it looks like they have a RV for beginners guide going on at 2 30 in this tent and they have black tank management they have uh, internet on the road so there's definitely a mix of uh, seminars you can come and attend I will say something we didn't realize was some of them get full very quickly so you have to come quite early and queue up but apart from that yeah that's kind of the main thing so just to say, when you first register and book your ticket, like I said, the sites fill up really quickly. So you might only have an option to be with water and electric, but it's okay because you get two free tickets for a honey wagon to come around and collect your waste. So something else that's kind of cool here is all the shuttle buses, they call them goobers here, are actually run by volunteers. So you get a little orange bib and you go around, there's different goober stops. Um, which means if you don't fancy walking, it's not too much of a walk, but if you don't fancy walking, you can just jump on one of those. It's a really cool idea. Uh, it was great for us for a couple of days. We were like, well, that's done. We'll just walk. Like, we don't need this. Um, and actually, it was really nice. If you just wanted to hop around to different places real quick or hey i'm just running down to the service guys you can just jump in a goober they're all around all the, all the time so it's a really cool idea uh, and it works out really well although i will add on here that you can rent a golf cart from them we saw tons of people running around a golf, golf cart so i was like does everyone own one but no you can rent them from the grand design so when you come to a grand designs rally the first thing you can probably expect is vendors vendors don't know why i said it like that lots and lots of vendors and uh i've already been buying all of the grand designs t-shirts and stuff so is michelle <laughs> so this vendor store we're here with scott for the up up for the journey gosh for i can't spit it out up for the journey <laughs> and they are selling these really cool little yeti handles not only selling them but we make them in our reflection well yes yeah, sorry yeah so they travel around making yep. these i believe yep yeah? yeah where are you heading off to the rally Oh, good question. Where are we going? I think Wisconsin. So we're going to go to Wisconsin and do a few events over there and then slowly we make our way back to Florida by October. Nice. Yeah. So if you see these guys on the road, say hello. Freedom and Handles is the company. Freedom Handles is the company. I'll overlay with the little logo and stuff. There you go. Um, but yeah, buy one of their, their things. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, this is the Fantasy RV Tours. We spoke to someone last night who had just booked a tour with them um, all around Florida. And it sounded really fun. So that's another fun company to check out. Um, so it's great to go in and chat to anyone and, and have a look at all the products. And they're all, they're all week. And actually, we kind of made friends with a few of the guys there. So that was really cool. Yeah. Um, they uh, You get to kind of know them. There wasn't too many vendors. It wasn't like a whole massive convention thing. No. There was maybe 20 there. And uh, they're generally people who are camping there as well. So. And I like that sometimes they had the craft afternoons where it was yeah. more like the little Etsy kind of things where people had designed or made their own smaller things and they would hold those out on the field um, so that was quite nice for yeah. all the uh, all the smaller companies to take part as well so here they have a small section for all the new we can't work out if they're the new models or the prototypes that are coming out in 2022 I assume Lawrence can overlay this with some actual facts <laughs> uh, but you have all the momentum solitude reflection and the transcend I'm not going to bore you with going in every single one um, you can see all the floor plans online and you can see all the new models and updates that they've done um, however it's nice that they have them all out here ready to all open and um, for your viewing pleasure another cool thing about this place is there are lots of dogs so you don't have to feel outcast i guess i mean most campsites have a lot of dogs however 
this place has some huge fields out back especially where all the horses do all their training and everything there are some massive fields back there and uh, so that's fantastic there's just so many places to walk the dogs but yeah there's plenty of dog walking places plenty of dumpsters around so you can actually put your dog waste away and for the most part everyone has I mean there's been the odd occasion where someone's not cleaned up but again you get that everywhere overall so it's really clean and the best thing I would say is the Goober volunteers take the trash away like two or three times a day I have never seen a dumpster over full over yeah, filling um, in this camping area so that's awesome like they're really keeping on top of that this is probably one of the most important places you'll need to come if you go to a Grand Designs rally they have this whole building dedicated to servicing and scheduling um, spares and parts and things and although we didn't even ask for it on like the second day we were here they turned up and replaced uh, a part out of our microwave and um, a recall that was on the slide but you can sign up and have things fixed so then Lawrence went in and was like hey the fuse blows on this so he signed up in this building and hopefully they'll come around and fix it we didn't expect this and I think I did mention it earlier that we had some stuff that was done under warranty the microwave and things however we put our names down in the hopes that we might get the rear axle or rear I don't know what they're called, levelers, that's it, that motor is broken and a little fuse that just keeps popping every time the slide goes out and sure enough this morning a guy came out and was like yeah we'll get that fixed and we're like really? So yeah they're going to fix it today, that's it then, I think everything on our RV is, is back into work in order so that's very exciting and very very generous of them. Well, I want to talk about the staff and the volunteers, like I can't say it enough that how helpful they were and how nice they were, um, you could tell that either if they work for Grand Design they really love the company and they really love working for Grand Design and if they're volunteers they were so happy to be helping out on something like this, yes. it wasn't you know it wasn't a camp host who's been there for years who yeah. just wants to take you to the site, they were all so helpful with everything and honestly it must have been stressful to organize that right yes. you know uh, with that many people I think they said there was 1300 people 1300 people 600 sites 675 rigs I think yes went. So, so that's so. a lot of people to organize I uh, hats off to you <laughs> yeah it was great and actually we spent a long time with Don Clark so we were talking to him we met him uh, we were lining up for dinner actually and he was there so we got chatting to him uh, and in fact uh, we're very honored because he came back and he signed our rig for us. So uh, we're just here back at the rig at the Grand Design RV Rally 2021. This guy walks up. Don't know if anyone knows who he is. We didn't, no idea. So anyway, he said, can I sign your rig? And I said, well, sure. Brazen Brits would love to have you sign our rig. I don't know who you are, strange man. So, uh, so anyway, we're gonna ask this guy to sign our rig. Uh, we couldn't decide where. Uh, if we put it on the front, the rain's gonna come off. If we put it inside, it might look like someone's just graffitied on it. I don't know how good your signature is. It might look really cool. If it's really cool, we'll get you to do it inside as well. So what we thought we'd do is we'll put it here so no one can see it. Is that okay? That would be great. I love it. And I'm so nervous because this will be a warranty event if I, if I misspell anything. So I'm going to be really, really careful. And for those of you who, uh, who don't know, this is Don Clark. He is the CEO of Grand Design RV. So. <laughs> Oh, you did make it work. Look at that. Yeah, it worked fine. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I did say, are you cool with signing an old 2018 model? And he was more than happy to because that's really the model that kicked off Grand Design RV. So I think these were first built in 2017, ours is 2018. So he was very happy for that. And then he ignored us and just played with OP for the next two hours. Yeah, didn't expect that. Many people are scared of OP and we know why, but not him. Not Mr. Clark. <laughs> okay, Natalie. Yeah. So let's show the other side. What didn't we like about Ugh, yeah. the rally? I hate to be negative, but that train, oh my goodness, if you're an F, good luck. That train goes past, it feels like every 30 minutes and it is loud. It is a proper mark train. I'm sure it's the one that goes we, through Harpers Ferry. <laughs> Whew, that they thing go is loud. On forever, these yeah. trains. <laughs> They're but long. Was, we were about 150 yards from the train yeah. and it went on all night. I think there was a break between 2 and 5 a.m. each night. Yeah. But apart from that, the uh, yeah, the train you uh, can get was away pretty from it. loud. It was bad. <laughs> so the actually one thing that uh, annoyed me more than the train, Natalie. Yes was the mosquitoes. Oh, so yeah, right the train, next to that lake. There is a train, like a, a stream, 
and then the fairgrounds. Yeah. And so uh, this stream was, it wasn't really a stream or a river. It was more like stale Overflow. water. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the mosquitoes were terrible and they were just insane. That's the worst I think I've ever been bitten in my yeah. life. Like I was covered in bites the first night. So, yeah, the yeah. first night was really bad. It was obviously And then it got cooler, which them. is nice. Then it got cooler yeah. and they kind of went away for the rest of the week. But yeah. we were lathered up in fly spray <laughs> um, because uh, it was pretty bad. So take all of the mosquito protection you can if you're going to Morelli. Uh, the other thing is the spaces are really tight now. I know we're there for a reason and we're not really camping there and we're not like hanging around the rig too much, but the spaces were very tight. Yeah. Uh, for example, our neighbours were so close to us that they couldn't open their awning. Uh, we could open our awning, but it's because it's shorter, but we did have another rig right next to us. Luckily it was Rob and Michelle, so yep. that wasn't a problem. But uh, yeah, just be aware that it's not really a camping spot. You're not really expected to, you know, uh, hang out hang there. out by your rig we hang, hung out in front of our rig yeah. because there was no space beside it so the tight the, the spaces are tight so although the food was fantastic the lines were long yeah um and that was a pain i'm gonna stay in the sun look it's cutting off here so we have a, <laughs> we're nearly done Ooh, well, look so at it. <laughs> now i'm gonna have to get close to you Ooh. um so yeah the lines were long so be prepared for that. Be yeah. stood for at least an hour to almost an hour. Like if you just want to grab some food, it's not for you. No. But we quite enjoyed it because in the lines we were talking to people. Everyone was very friendly. Yep. So it was more like a social event, and then you grab some food at the end. So um, it was fine. Yeah. We the first night was irritating, and then once we knew what was coming, it was great. So just expect long lines when you're getting food. So Natalie, mm -hmm. what did you think overall? Oh, amazing! A hundred percent worth it. Yeah. yeah, we paid for some campsites that were $400 that weren't worth yeah. it. So for that and everything that we got, yeah, 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, so I agree. I think, uh, I can't believe, you know, Grand Design must have made a huge loss on this. Yeah. Uh, because there's no way $400 covered the cost of anything. It, it would have cost at least three <laughs> times more per person probably. Um, but anyway, I think it is a really cool event that Grand Design do. Um, they It really is a Grand Design customer appreciation event. Yes. You know, they... Uh, they really looked after everyone they it was so well planned out mm -hmm. you know all the staff all the volunteers everyone was there they closed down the factory and all of the uh, all of the factory guys are, are out there and maintenance guys are out just just fixing rigs all week and they are so much fun everyone's happy everything's nice it's just like a vacation it's, I can't say enough good things about it if I'm honest so we will for certain not for certain, but most likely be going back next year. Apparently there, there's one like in Florida. There is a Florida one. chapter, yeah, yeah. So we're going to do that. I don't, we haven't been to a local Grand Design RV rally, but uh, if there is any, if they're as good as the national rally, then we're in. We're in, Consider yeah. us in. Oh, the sun's gone away. Thank you. <laughs> um, and, uh, but apparently they're a lot smaller and slightly different. So oh, we are okay. going to try and do that uh, next year. I think it's in April in Florida. That'd be fun. So we will try and do that next year and we will report out on that. Anyway, we hope this helped. Uh, sorry, went on a bit longer than we than we thought, but I think uh, it's all really cool information. Yeah. And if we had that information in a video like this beforehand, we would have been much better prepared. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it. If you're at the rally next year, hit us up. We hope to be there. If not, we will see you next week. So I know I wasn't going to show you the inside of all of the different RVs. However, this is a toy hauler. Still a fifth wheel. There's a toy hauler, which means it has this whole room in the back that could absolutely be dedicated to Lawrence's office. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm just gonna mention if Grand Designs wanna, you know, just give us one, that would be great. They're really useful, the dogs would love it. Um, you know, and we're out here flying their flags. So it would only be right that we get a free momentum, really. Um, so yeah, and then we could have this little sun deck thing out the back here. Got your own balcony. Yeah, th this would be the one. Thanks, Grand Designs. Yeah, nice, nice little momentum. Uh, would be perfect for us. Thanks. The sun is right in my eye. Do a bit of an intro. <laughs> <laughs> Can the intro be? Look, Grand Designs threw up on us. <laughs> Hi guys, and if you want to go to the Grand Design RV Rally, be prepared to be thrown up on. And buy all of the merch. We did buy these. We did buy these. We're not given them. I know. Not good enough to be no, We're given. putting a whole video out on this and they didn't even give us a damn t-shirt. No. Gonna have to contact that Mr. Clark, I think. <laughs> Our new best buddy. Right. Wouldn't even give us a trailer. I asked. The toy did hauler. You? Yeah. She laughed. I didn't know that was a yes or no. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes.
If it wasn't a no. Thanks, Pam. If you could forward our toy hauler to uh, Florida, that would be great. What's her name? She was very nice. Katie. Was it Katie or Pam? Oh, the, Pam was the like volunteer organising lady. Yeah. Did you ask her for a free yeah. trailer? Oh. I don't think she remembers who I am. No, no one remembers us. Okay, let's start this. Okay. <laughs> 